What's going on, YouTube? Today, Mr. Charles comes back at you with another video, and this is going to be a video that going into the series of My Financial Economy. This is going to go into the My Financial Economy. You probably wonder why this crazy lady looking right here look like she's frustrated about she's ready to punch somebody, like somebody stole her coffee. Uh, she's frustrated. She got bad credit. She got debt. Bill collectors calling every day, getting on the nerves. She ain't got no money to pay him. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's how life is sometimes. I mean, some things you just can't control, but you, you don't want to let it stress you out. I mean, <clears throat> today we're just going to talk about that. We're going to talk about having, <clears throat> having bad credit, the effects of bad credit, <clears throat> the effects of debt, and the effects of not having a plan and retirement. Okay, what's up? Credit right now. We're going to talk about a little credit. Um, in order to get an apartment these days, you need good credit or decent credit. In order to have a job at the bank or I think it's the, the armored car place, you need credit. In order to have decent insurance rates, you need credit. In order to not pay a <coughs> boatload of, <clears throat> uh, what is it, the percentage rates you pay on your credit cards and the interest rate that you pay on these loans you use, you need decent credit. And if you don't have decent credit, you end up paying hundreds of dollars, not thousands of dollars, every single year to these companies because your credit is bad. <clears throat> How do you improve that? Well, I have a solution, but it's up to you to take advantage of it. <clears throat> Let's say, for an example, that you have a credit score like mine is like 550. <clears throat> When you get a loan, your interest rate is more likely going to be like 20, maybe 25%, if not higher. So that's going to make your whatever bill you have, whatever <clears throat> loan you have, car loan, mortgage, because they'll still give it to you. They'll give you the loan, but it's going to be way higher than what it needs to be. And you're going to pay a whole lot more <clears throat> if you have better credit. Too. <clears throat> well, let's say you have a credit of maybe like 550. When you get that loan, and your payment is like eight, nine hundred, about eight or nine hundred, maybe a thousand dollars a month. If you increase your credit score to at least a seven hundred, that'll, that'll, that'll make you knock like a hundred dollars, fifty dollars, or seven eighty dollars off of that up a month. That's money that you can use to go into paying off the debt. So you can get yourself out of debt. So you can start paying for the retirement. <coughs> so you can start saving for your retirement. <coughs> you have to come up with a plan, guys. You can't just do stuff randomly. You can't just go out half stepping and just I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. <coughs> you don't have a plan. Don't have any type of action you're gonna take. You don't know what you're gonna do. You're just guessing, slipping and sliding all over the place. Uh, <clears throat> you gonna end up like this lady in this picture right here. I thought I had it under control. Then I got laid off, and they cut my wages. They really did like Tars R Us. They went out of business. Cause Amazon, I just my opinion, that Amazon pretty much put Tars R Us out of business. But people, a lot of people out of work. Talking about Walmart shut down some of their stores about maybe a year or so ago. <clears throat> Blockbuster dealerships or franchises. They all pretty much closed down except maybe one or two that left. <clears throat> so your job is not, it's pretty much not secure. So if, we, if you're living month to month, check to check, day by day, hour by hour, all it takes is one mistake. All it takes is one hiccup. What happens if you get, what happens if your check is short next week? You have, you're expecting to use that money to get food. You have any backup plans? Or you just got the loan, loan, you have to borrow the money from your friend, your neighbor, your cousin, your uncle, and have to pay them back next week. That's still, that's still another loan. That's still taking more money out of your pocket than what you have to. <clears throat> Fix your credit, guys. Get your credit right. Lower your debt. You gotta put, that's, that's the number one thing you can do to put money back in your pocket. Get your, get your credit fixed. And I know it's gonna be some people that say this is, that's watching this video, it's probably gonna say, man, it's, it costs too much. It's expensive. <clears throat> I don't have the money. You have to find a way. Bad credit is, it didn't just happen overnight. It's something that you've done over time, time, time again. I mean, making bad decisions. Get stuff you don't need. Spending out of want instead of need. You have to determine what you want and what you need. <clears throat> There's some people in the situation where they, they, have so, they have so much debt that they have to, they have to just let the bills <clears throat> get behind. They have to let the creditors, credit cards, the loans, they have to let them go. If that's you and you don't know what to do, the first thing you need to do is take the bills that you have and put them in order of importance. 
the way I was doing it was I would take the, <clears throat> I would pay my mortgage bill because I need somewhere to stay. I would pay the car note because I need a way to get to work. I would pay the light bill, the water bill, and food. Everything else comes after that. Those are the bills that you want to take care of first. And you get that first check of the month. <clears throat> I'm going to make sure you take care of all those bills first. Everybody else will have to wait. They can call. They can send messages. They can come by the house. I, just, I don't have it. I have to make sure that I have a home, especially if you have a family. I have to make sure I have a roof over my head. I got to make sure I have water. I got to make sure I have lights. I got to make sure I have food. I got to make sure I have transportation to get back to that job until I can get a better job or put myself in a better situation. So those are the things that you can do if you're in that situation. <coughs> That's the reason I got COVID. Now, we talked about credit. Let's talk about debt. You probably get emails every time you're going to the mall, going to these stores. Everybody's trying to entice you to get a credit card debt. Why do they think that is? Not because they're not making money. They're making the killer. Every time you walk into a store, you're going to the mall, you're going to these stores, they have a representative sitting there waiting for you to, uh, to buy a credit card. You're going to Sam's, Costco. They have a kiosk. They have somebody sitting there waiting for you to come to the store and say, do you want this credit card? They're not doing it just uh, just for the fun of it. They're not doing it just to, just to be cute. They're using that to make money, and they know they can make money that way. Banks are making the killing off of interest rates. They're making the killing off of these NSF, NSF fees as well. <clears throat> and the plan that I'm using right now is I have a company that I'm working with that pretty much is Gonna have to come up with kind of come up with a plan for me for that. Well, I don't need any extra income at all. I don't need I don't need an extra job. I don't have to go work at Uber or Lyft. I don't have to go, I don't have to go um deliver pizzas on the weekends. They're gonna take the exact money you have right now, and they're going to show you how to get out of debt in half the time. <clears throat> Something you got to look into for yourself. But that's that's what they do. They will get all the debts that you have. You send them the information of your debt, the creditors, the amount interest rate and stuff of that nature. And they give you a plan on how to pay off all of that credit, all of that debt, the same amount of money you're making right now in half the time. I think that's something that you can use. I think that's something that you can take advantage of. I think that's something that will take a lot of stress off your life. I think you want to look like this woman right here if she had, if she had that kind of information. <clears throat> and lastly, we're going to talk about retirement. This might be a common theme in all of my videos. We gotta come, we gotta talk about retirement. Some of us are young, some of us are old, some of us are still, you know, just, just getting out of high school. But it's still, it's still no excuse. It's still, you still have to plan for it. Sometimes we're not taught about it, but you have to learn. And the information that I have has actually opened my eyes. It's woken me up to a whole nother, um, a whole nother part of life. It's kind of like I said in, in the title of this video, my financial economy. I found out that there are banks out there that will, that you can put money in. I'll just describe it like this. When you put your money in a 401k, <clears throat> the stock market goes up, your 401k goes up. <clears throat> when the stock market goes down, your 401k, it goes down. In these particular banks, when the stock market goes up, the bank, um, so the, uh, this particular banking information, your, your, um, your, your information goes up, your money. When the stock market goes down, the money in your account stays level. The money doesn't go, <clears throat> it doesn't go up, it doesn't go down, it stays level. It doesn't it stays stagnant until the bank comes back, until the um, stock market comes back up. So that means, guess what that means? You never lose money. How many times have you um, heard of anything like this? Where have you heard of anything like this? Is anybody teaching this? They're sure not teaching this in school. You go to college for four years, they don't even mention it. I had never heard anything like I, I, it. sounds like a fairy tale. When I first heard it, I was like, this can't, I'm saying to myself, this can't be true. How can I put money in an account and never lose money? What kind of bank is this? Where they been all my life? But there's, I'm a, I'll give you the name of it. It's called um, Private Reserve Account. Go out there and do your research on something called a Private Reserve Account. I had no idea that this existed. I had no idea of it, that it wasn't in existence until the information was on, was handed to me. Well, not handed to me, but I... <clears throat> I learned about it, and I'm still learning about it. So a lot of I mean, 
you don't know about it, you can't learn about it. If you can't learn about it, it's unknown to you. If it's unknown to you, it's, you don't see it. It's, it's unheard of. And those are just a couple of things that I'm going to use to, in 2020 in my private economy, my financial economy, to take me from where I am right now to where I want to be. I don't want to retire at the age of 80. I don't want to be um, like this, this older woman that I saw one day. When I was going to Walmart, I just happened to look to the right. There was this lady in Walmart. She looked like she was like 75, 80 years old. She was mopping the floor in Walmart. And I said to myself, I said, I don't, I don't want to live like this. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to have to get out of my bed at 80 years old to come mop the floors for McDonald's. I didn't say that. Like she was working at McDonald's as an older lady working at Walmart. She wasn't doing it for fun. She was doing it because she had to. Don't know her situation, but I mean, I, I don't want to be like, I don't want to live my life that way. That's another another guy who I know. I'm not going to mention his name. <clears throat> he uh he he kind of gave like a, a kind of a testimony that he drove for Uber and Lyft for I think three or four years. I think three or four years, and he was making just enough money to pay his bills, and not too much more than that. He would sleep in his car. He would work long shifts just to make ends meet. Some people out there they're doing that day too. I mean, just to make ends meet, you have to. Go out there. You, some of you may have to leave your kids in the house and, and try to trust them with the neighbor because you have to go to work to make money. That's not the life to live. You want a life that's worth living. You don't want to just go to work, just get up, go to the same thing, just like getting like you were taught. Get up, go to school, go to college, get a high-paying job. But so now that you're old, all you're doing is getting up, go to work, pay the bills, come back home, repeat that cycle. That's it. You don't want to live your life like that. You're going to look back on your life like, man, I could have, I could have been better than that. I wish I had more opportunities than, than I had. You have the opportunities there. You just have to take advantage of it. You just have to find them. You have to find something that you like and get involved in it. Yeah, now, as I was saying a minute ago, the young man who was sleeping in his car, he was paying his bills. He had somewhere to stay. He wasn't homeless. He had a residence, but he had to do what he had to do to make his money. He had to get out there and get his hustle on with Uber or Lyft, whichever one it was. To make ends meet. That's not that's not a way you want to live, guys. And he 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 found out like man, this is. I'm pretty sure one day he was saying, "I said, man, I I can't keep doing this. I don't want to keep living my life like this." He found a situation. And now he's you know I mean, he's doing a heck of a lot better than that. Now he's found his way out. He found a solution. And he's working that solution. I guarantee he's working that solution right now. He's probably working it right now. I follow him on Facebook. He's on Facebook Live. He's uh, he's, most of the time he's in another city. I mean, St. Louis, California, Oklahoma, Minnesota, New York. He's all over now because he decided because he made a decision that I don't want to live like this anymore. I don't want to work these long shifts just to pay bills. Do it all over again tomorrow. Do it all over again next week. Do it all over again next month. Month to month, year to year. And when you look back on it. You learn from it. It was a lesson. A lesson that life teaches. Now he's doing well. And he's actually, I'm aspiring to be where he is right now. I'm learning. I'm pretty much learning from him. Yeah, I mean, you can do it, guys. You just have to, you have to have your mind open. You have to have, you have to want to do something different. You have to want to change your situation. Like I said in my other video. In order for things to change, I think I said this in one of my videos, there's a couple of tips. In order for things to change, you have to change. In order for your situation to change, you will have to change. If not, you will keep getting the same results that you're getting right now. You'll get those effects, the very same situation that you have right now, if not worse. If you're working check to check, and you go to work, or just on, you, you go to work one day and somebody run over your foot or you get into an accident and break your leg. Do you have enough money until you, until you get, get healed? Do you have enough money until you can go back to work? Do you have enough saved up to pay your bills or are you, are you, so, are you behind on your bills? If you miss one paycheck, you don't get put out. That's not the way you want to live, guys. That's not the way you want to live. You want to get better. You want to change your life. You want to change, it's all, you got to change your mindset. You can't keep thinking like that. You can't keep living like that. You can't keep getting up every day, getting up, going to work, come back home, do it again the next day. Then again, there are probably people who are there. 
just keep doing the same thing over and over and over and just expecting a different result. Money doesn't just fall out of a tree. You can't go you can't go plant a money tree and the money gonna come out it's just gonna come out of the ground. You gotta go put in the work. Even in the Bible it says faith without works is dead. Faith. What is faith? Faith is something you can't see. You have to believe. Before before you see the money, you have to believe you're gonna get the money. That's that's faith. Faith without hope, faith without works is dead. And after you have the faith, you got to put some work in it. You got to go out there. And you can't just go sit. You can't be sitting in the theater, you know, sitting at home in front of the TV watching, um, <clears throat> watching The Walking Dead and think you're going to think some money just going to show up at your door. Think it's just going to show up in an envelope at your mailbox. Think somebody's going to come to your house and just hand you a thousand dollars. It's not going to happen. You got to get out there and work for it. That's it, guys. This video ran a lot longer than I thought to. I hope you learned something from this today. If you have any questions, you can just comment below. If you want to contact me by text, just always, I'll try to leave my number in the inbox. If you have any questions, just, just call or text me. Uh, thank you, guys. And you have yourself a wonderful day.